Three of Michael Vick's pit bulls are in Atlanta getting room for adoption. Rescue groups have been working with the dogs for the past month to socialize them. CBS 46's Sarah Parker has details about their first public appearance. Sarah, how are these dogs adjusting to their new life? Helen, they're adjusting faster and better than anyone expected. They say you can't teach an old dog new tricks, but animal rescue groups are confident that all these dogs need is a little obedience training and a whole lot of love. Really interested in the sleek black fur of this female pit bull named Seven is jagged with scars. Battle worn, she's a two year old pit rescued from Michael Vick's Virginia home. She shows signs that she was fought. We're not sure if she was actually used in fighting or if she was used to test or bait dogs. One of three pit bulls fostered since December by the All or Nothing Pit Bull Rescue, founded by tattoo artist Brandon Bond. <laughs> The success of the tattoo studio and the publishing company that I own is, is small in comparison to placing a dog in a loving family. To me, that's the best. You can't beat that. Working with the Georgia SPCA, these animal lovers helping the dogs learn how to socialize with other people and other animals. So far, the dogs are not showing aggression. In fact, quite the opposite. Uh, when I got Machiavelli, he didn't even know to wag his tail when I petted him. Like, he just didn't understand. And he's never gotten anything but hatred directed towards him. And that's obvious in all of his mannerisms. Those mannerisms will be closely monitored while the SPCA puts the pits through obedience training, all to get the dogs ready to be adopted by loving families. So far, I think they learn to trust humans again and, and they go into a home and, and then they turn out just fine. So we're, we're expecting a lot of good things for these dogs and don't foresee any problems whatsoever. They haven't shown any. No one will be told which dogs are Vic rescues to avoid people adopting them for the novelty of their past. The expenses of rehabilitating the dogs will be paid for by the convicted former Atlanta Falcon. Sarah Parker, CBS 46 News. I'm glad to hear that. Big news for lovers.